Vater? She sees him. No. Still with the yellow raincoat. Weil du nicht zuhörst. Ist kein Wunder, dass Mama das nicht mehr ausgehalten hat. Deine ewigen Vorträge, Big Bang, Big Crunch. Hast du Sonja mal gefragt, ob sie das überhaupt interessiert? Trink mir's raus. Ist das alles, was du dazu zu sagen hast? Du hast mir doch gesagt, die Welt da draußen wäre voller Geheimnisse. Und dass das, was wir wissen, ein Tropfen in einem unendlichen Ozean ist, ja? Wenigstens da hast du mal recht gehabt. Du weißt vielleicht alles über Einstein, Rosenbrücken und schwarze Löcher, aber über mich? Über mich weißt du absolut gar nichts. Wouldn't have been amazing if Marta and Jonas were the reason they had the accident. Was wir wissen ist ein Tropfen. Was wir nicht wissen ein Ozean. Dein Vater liebt dich. Er würde alles für dich tun. Does Jonas and Marta represent them too? There is no power plant. Of course. Ich weiß auch nicht. Ich hatte nur plötzlich so ein, so ein Gefühl. Cut your son back. Ich hab dich gesehen. Als Kind. Du hast zu mir geschaut. Als ob du mich auch sehen würdest. Ich glaube, es soll das irgendwie etwas für uns bleiben. Ich weiß, dass das, was wir dann sind, ein Traum. das nie wirklich gegeben. Wir passen perfekt zusammen. Ich glaube, nie etwas anderes. Danke für die Einladung. Oh, Bene. Du hast uns nie erzählt, was da eigentlich genau passiert ist. Right. Mir hast du es auch noch nie gesagt. Erzähl, erzähl mal, Tom. Komm, erzähl. Komm, erzähl. Aber ihr müsst versprechen, dass es niemand weiter erzählt. Promise. Okay. Letzten Sommer ist... Please, for the love of God, I need this. I need to know. Ist alles okay? an, aber ich habe genau das hier letzte Nacht geträumt und irgendwie war die Welt zu Ende. Es war einfach dunkel und es ist nicht wieder hell geworden. Unendliche Dunkelheit. Kein Gestern, kein Heute, kein Morgen. Wenn die Welt heute untergeht, und ihr hättet einen Wunsch frei. Was würdet ihr euch wünschen? Don't say a world without wind. Eine Welt ohne Wind. Eine Welt ohne Wind. Eine 
Habt ihr schon einen Namen? Thomas? Ich glaube, ich finde Jonas einen schönen Namen. But shut the fuck up. This is so really So that was the last episode of Dark. I think I didn't talk much during the episode. I was probably too busy crying, but I also was really focused, like really, really focused. And yeah, that was an ending. I, I mean, it was a really good ending, but I also like, you know, either save them all or kill them all. It's so unfair. Most of them uh, don't exist anymore. I don't, I don't even know where to start from. Probably from the fact that I still don't know how Wooler got his scar. This is the second time that he tried to tell us the story, but he was interrupted and uh, yeah. So after all, at the end of all the, all the seasons, I still have questions. Till the last episode, I had no idea that Townhouse was responsible for all of this, for time traveling and making the two... Well, there was this book that Elizabeth was uh, reading and belonged to Townhouse that had this drawing with three worlds. Wow, like, but at that time didn't cross my mind that it is possible uh, there was another world. It was in the second season. No, yeah, it was in the second season, so I had no idea that there were. There was even a second world, so, but I also, their kind of obsession with three. At the end, he managed to do what he wanted to do from, from the start, to save his son and daughter-in-law and uh, granddaughter. That's kind of mind-blowing, at, at least for me, without knowing, actually, he saved his son. Like, he invented time traveling to not invent time traveling. In the original world a lot of people that we know uh, don't exist because there uh, isn't time traveling and most of them <laughs> were made by time traveling and that's that's what is sad for me. The suffering they've been through it was kind of for nothing. Yeah, I'm glad that Claudia managed to save Regina. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bitter about this, but it's kind of bittersweet, you know? Um, after all, what Claudia did was for Regina, and uh, she realized that Regina will be okay, so yeah, fuck all the others. It's not her fault, but yet it's kind of... You know, a little selfish, definitely. If Regina didn't exist in the original world, she couldn't be saved. Claudia probably wouldn't give a shit. So that's why it kind of bothers me. I don't know. Is there anyone else that feels this way? Because if that was the case, like Regina didn't exist, she probably would have been totally fine for the not to continue. So, but yeah, she's safe. Hey. I mean, I'm happy for her, but at the same time, again, I don't know. I'm probably angry that Jonas and Marta doesn't exist anymore, and the rest, you know, that had no chance. Because they were still people, you know, they were still having feelings and all that. And that older Jonas in her in his little room with with the medallion in his hand. 
broke my heart. But yeah. Um, so, a lot of people disappeared. They are not in the original world anymore because of time traveling again. Um, but we are left with, again, Regina because uh, her father is uh, Bert, Bert. So, Regina is Helge's sister. Katarina is there because we actually, like, we know her mother and she had nothing to do with, you know, time traveling. Peter is there. Right, Peter is there. Um, Helge is his father, so there is a Helge. Benny is there and apparently they are together, though. That's really sweet and cute and uh, finally he can be happy and stop hiding um who else volar is there and he's with hannah she's pregnant and now i understand where hannah's obsession with police officers comes from um and i think that's it Probably that's it. Okay, let's have an inventory. Let's try, or at least I'll try to make an inventory. <laughs> that sounds weird, but you know what I mean. We got Egan and Doris. They had Claudia, Claudia and Hanno had Regina. And Regina didn't meet Alexander. Holy shit, there is no Bartosz. Wow. I just realized there is no Bartosz. I guess Claudia didn't give a shit about him. Um, there is no Regina and Alexander be because there is no Urlish. The reason why Regina kind of met Alexander was because uh, Katarina and Urlish um, picked, like, had a fight with her, bullied her in the the forest, and that's why Alexander came and saved her, and they didn't meet. And Urlish doesn't exist because he's the son of um, Tronta. Tronta is the son of Agnes, and Agnes is the daughter of Bartosz and... Celia. They don't exist. That's cute. And because there is no... Um, what is it called? Because there is no Urlish, there is no Marta and Magnus. There is no Francesca. Because there is no Charlotte. Because there is no Noah. Because there is no Charlotte, there is no Elizabeth. And there is no Charlotte. <laughs> wow. And there is no Jonas because there is no Michael, which is Mikkel, because there is no Urlish. And also there is no power plant. Because there is no Francis. Um, he gave the, the permit to um, Bert to build the, the power plant and maybe that's why uh, Regina doesn't have cancer because there is no power plant would it be cool that Regina would still die in, in the origin world no matter what and but at this point you know there is no time traveling so that's cool I mean there is a Charlotte but not a Charlotte that we know, probably. <laughs> um, so, uh, Sonia and Marek. Marek's daughter is named Charlotte. I think, again, it's after the wife of the blind man father that died. Honestly, most of the ones that disappear deserve better. Jonas deserves or deserved better. 
he lost his father, then he went through all that shit with time traveling, he um, almost got hanged, he saw Marta getting killed by himself, um, then he grew older, you know, with older Jonas, been through all that thing, things getting lied by Claudia, by himself, he also killed his mother. Marta deserved better. He, she lost uh, Mikael. She lost um, his, um, her father. And, you know, at one point, Jonas disappeared. And then she was killed by Jonas. Woolish deserved better, you know. Lost. His brother, he was accused of rape. Um, he lost his uh, son. Then he almost killed the kid. Then he was locked in, a, in prison and then in that mental institution. It was when finally Katarina came to him and told him, she'll get get him out of there you know that was all in vain even Noah deserved better doing all that stuff just to save his uh his daughter when you know she was right there it was so messed up but that is dark <laughs> Literally, how was Claudia able to, you know, go to um, Adam to tell him about, you know, the original world? She was split into two, one that got killed and one that came to Adam to tell him about the original world and then she met with a little younger Claudia, that Claudia told her to tell Egan that she's sorry and that that Claudia that survived went to Egan and told him that she's sorry but, and all that stuff and it's not actually the one that got killed. Somehow she used that, you know, split second when time st uh, stays still to to go to Adam but also that's she said that that's when um, Eva sends Marta in a way or another and I think she was talking about when Marta got split into two you know one she saved Jonas and one um, got uh, taken back uh, by Bartosz so that's that. It was such a great show, such an amazing show. And it's a shame that I don't think many people knew about it. Like they, again, like they know about, you know, Lost or Stranger Things. I think I heard somewhere that it was compared with Stranger Things and I honestly don't see any connection between them two um but yeah it's such a shame that not many people know about it and i guessing is because you know it's in a foreign language i mean also for me it's, but like in a it's not in english and it's such a shame because it's such a good show god damn uh, like i in the beginning i didn't realize how deep this is gonna get but when you think you saw like nothing can top this thing they come with another thing and it's like mind-blowing and when you think that yeah nothing can beat that they come with something else till the last episode <sighs> and what an ending for some reason i felt sorry even for eva at the end when she realized that's it there won't be 
anything more beside that point. I mean, she said that she's doing this for Francis, but I still don't know. Maybe she does it. Maybe she did it for him. Maybe she was afraid of dying. I mean, they die, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think this is all I have to say about this episode, the whole show. Thank you for sticking around. I love reading your comments. Uh, I know I didn't answer to most of them, but I always give a heart just so you know that I read your comments and I really appreciate it. I know that some of you uh, subscribe just for dark, but who knows? I have other shows that I'm gonna react, so maybe continue sticking around, maybe, you know, you'll find something that you like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm just gonna say that after, like, now that Dark is um, over, uh, the show that's gonna replace it is gonna be The Hunting of Blee Manor, because, you know, it's... Uh, Halloween month and I think it's very appropriate but you know other show is gonna end and also as I said I'm gonna react to Lost I think it's kind of maybe similar I don't know <laughs> but again if you have suggestions and if you would like to see me react to something that you enjoy leave, it, leave them in the comments <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye!